So welcome back to WCCF Tech guys, it's Keith again and I know it's been a while since you've seen me like this where I'm actually on the camera but things are kind of back to normal in my day to day routine so we'll be able to bring you more videos like this. But today we're just bringing you an update on where we are with the AMD A12 9800 APU performance numbers. So first off we're finished with all of the A10 numbers so we've already pulled the A10 the 7890K out of the system so that's the top of the end A10. So we did run that one at bone stock. We ran, ran all of these initial testing at their rated speed. So the A10 rated speed, the A12 at its default rated speed. Now in case you're wondering what those are, the, the CPU portions were about the same. So turboing up to 4.3 gigahertz. The APU however for the 78, the A10 was 866 megahertz. The A12 runs at 1107, 1108. So it kind of fluctuates between those two. The memory on the A10 was at 2133. Rated speed, can do faster, but rated speed. So 16 gigs, 2133, two gigs dedicated to the iGPU. The A12 running at 2400 megahertz. I know it's DDR4 and a lot of people are like, why aren't you running 3200 megahertz? Well, the actual thing that we've run into and why this is taking a little bit longer than normal was we started off with the the x370 so the x370 x power gaming titanium that thing had next to no support for the apu uh yes it ran it turned on it even had FreeSync even worked so FreeSync worked with the nixius view monitor that was really cool the problem was the memory wouldn't let me change the memory speed uh wouldn't let me adjust the core clock um in fact the core clock was all over the place especially if you were trying to run a game so we had to come out of the x370 we moved over to the b350 tomahawk and the initial uh look was looking promising i even put it on twitter like holy crap it's completely unlocked this is great with the b350 tomahawk it would let me adjust the uh, memory multiplier or the, the memory speed to whatever i wanted to it would let me adjust the core clock to whatever i wanted to it would even let let me adjust the bclk which was great especially for that motherboard but the thing was once you load it into windows you realize that none of those values actually saved in the bios you would save them they would say they save but they were always reading at the uh, default and the big problem there wasn't necessarily that it was see even the memory was running at 2133 which was going to serve no purpose to what we were doing here uh, but the cpu was actually showing the bclk at 96 megahertz which was showing even with the multi you do the multiplier i mean you do the math on that everything was running way too slow even this every everything was it so we updated the bios um got the latest bios on there and when we did that we lost all ability to control any clocks so uh no cpu core clock uh functions no memory functions you could go up to 2400 ddr4 2400 but it would only ever boot to 2133 so and again with the bclk was still stuck at uh, 96 and a half so 96.5 so you do like i said do the math on the multiplier it was running up to a 42 43 uh, multiplier it just really threw off all of the numbers so i was like i can't get results here so we actually resorted to um if you guys have ever seen any of this stuff on this processor online i believe um tech epiphany is the name of the youtuber who actually has been running these and i was pretty jealous of this guy for having found it but now that we've got our own I'm, I'm good to go so i'm having a lot of fun problem is i had to settle for this board this is the prime b350ma um, there are no heat sinks on the vrms for this which is a bit disappointing but we're going to see how well it works i mean we're going to be running the cpu portion spec the gpu is already clocked quite high i don't see us really needing to overclock that part the key here is this motherboard gives us better memory control we're in windows right here and we're already running it with no problem up and going did have to reinstall everything but we've got the memory running at I don't know, you can't see it from there, but it is running at 2400. So it's running at its rated speed, even with the G Skill Trident Z kit. It's a 3200 megahertz kit, but either way, and when we show our initial results, it's all going to be at default clock. So even the A12 against the A10 is going to be default. And then we're going to go into seeing how high I can get the memory to go and how well it scales from there. So that'll be A12 default versus A12. Uh, with the memory as high as we can get it to really see how much uh, ddr4 can benefit these apus so bear with us as we get these results together and we will see you guys soon with those hopefully so thank you for your patience and this has been keith with wccf tech tv and as always we'll catch you in the next video